Welcome to Youth in Action. In today's program, we have Dalvin Machuka to offer us better solutions for our internet. Dalvin, yes. karibu sana. Thank you, thank you so, so much. So, what is Dalvin Machuka best known for? Uh, Dalvin Machuka is best known for, one, integrity. Two, uh, a love of uh, human, humanness also. And uh, a lot in terms of how you engage and value uh, people that you you are involved with. Interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so what is your professional background and uh, what inspired you to follow that path? Uh, my professional background, one, is on information technology. Uh, I've been inspired by a lot of things. Uh, one is um, how you engage people, the platforms that you use to engage people. How do you communicate with your loved one? Uh, two is in terms of information, how do you access information, uh, in terms of uh, learning, how do you access information and learn uh, using technology. So technology is very wide, but also uh, it can help you in a lot of things. What do you do? How do you, how do you impact the society using uh, inform, uh, the information technology? Uh, like now also, like in terms of farming, I know most of the young people, we don't like farming because it's a tedious work, you have to wait. So yes, I'm a very interested in uh, farming. I do uh, commercial farming. Yes. Wow. Uh, what kind of uh, farming? What, what things do you do? Do you plant crops? Yes. Or uh, just poultry and other things? I do farming, that is uh, maize and beans currently. Uh, but also in future, I want to now uh, go large scale in terms of uh, the avocado. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how, how long have you been an IT expert in farming? In, in my farming, I've not yet uh, started using uh, technology. Uh, it's in progress. Uh, IT currently, I'm doing it in terms of uh, uh, pro my profession. But now, in future, I will go back to now full scale on farming. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And then that's when now maybe I'll start using now uh, the technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of buzz when it comes to information technology, but more often it's it's termed technical, uh, you know, and difficult. What, how can you enlighten us on this? Yes. Uh, information technology is technical, uh, but also it involves which type of devices that you are using. Uh, what exactly are you doing? Uh, let's say, for, for example, you want to communicate with your loved ones, and maybe you are a, uh, you have grand uh, kids at home, and you want to communicate them, and you are not together. So yes, you can use information technology uh, and the access uh, to have maybe a video call or have a call with a loved one. Yeah. Okay, and so on that. Uh, in that department, what you said that IT is broad. Yes. Which specific areas do you handle? I handle in uh, fixed data. Uh, currently supporting in terms of uh, cells, the whole of the greater western region. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so when you talk about fixed data, what is that? So fixed data is basically internet solution. How you, uh, like now fixed data is the one that we use cables like fiber optics. And then we have wireless also, uh, which now uses now the radio waves uh, uh, that you can use to now uh, in, engage and maybe access uh, information on the internet. Okay. Yeah. So what is the importance of wireless uh, internet or fixed data in the current world as we live? Its importance are, is broad. Uh, one, like now the farming that I've uh, spoken about, you can use uh, internet to do farming uh, through the use of technology. You can do learning, both the young ones and the old. You can do entertainment, the old can use that one. Uh, you can see like now the, the time COVID came in, we 
most of the companies went back to working from home. And you could see the access of internet enabled most people to work from home without uh, being affected with uh, uh, the COVID. So yes. Okay. Uh, seeing that you offer internet solutions, what does a person in the rural areas, you know, how can they benefit or why should they deem it important to them? Uh, it's important in the rural area. Uh, let's say for uh, an example, you have uh, your grandkids who are maybe in urban areas and your parents are at home. How do you make sure that they communicate and even have that uh, close uh, bond of interaction? Uh, through using uh, maybe conference calls, which have videos, they can have an engagement, talk with their grandparents and even put a face uh, of maybe their, uh, their grandkids as they grow up. Another one is um, even in the rural areas, how do you make sure that now things like now the farming, farming have to happens uh, mostly in the rural areas. How do you make sure that you also involve uh, technology in the rural areas? You can use technology and even start marketing your products, start marketing how you even do farming in your rural areas. Yes, that is... Uh, one one of the things that we also encourage the, even the young youths that currently are maybe focused on uh, TikTok entertainment to go back to now uh, farming because there is huge potential uh, also in that area. Okay. Yeah. And uh, does this apply also to other areas, maybe entrepreneurship, innovation, and uh, such like things? Yes, yes, it does. Let's say, for example, uh, if I've done my my farming, I've harvested uh, my crops. What next do I do? Is to engage uh, different uh, corporation, different organization to look uh, for the market for these uh, products. So mm -hmm. yes, through the use of internet, you can actually uh, reach out a wider market by just posting or just just sending one message. You can reach the whole world at once. Okay. Yeah. And uh, when it comes to the internet, you tend to hear things like 3G, 4G, 5G. What is that? Uh, basically, I would find that in terms of two aspects. One is the amount of data that you want to send, and two is in terms of speed. Uh, how fast do you want to send your information to someone or receive information from someone? And how, which amount of data do you want to send? Yes. So three. Four, two, three, and four is basically the speed. How fast do you want to relay that uh, from one place to another? Okay. Yeah. And uh, this is literally technology changing, and uh, you know, as fast as possible. Yeah. Juicy two, it was four G. Now it's five G. How do you assist, especially the people in the rural areas, to have a smooth transition and adapting these different speeds of the internet? Uh, I look at that one. One is through education do more of education in the especially for the old one uh, because i know the young one we are so much ac you are accessing a lot of information we are able to read read and adapt to this information or this changing technology mm -hmm. but for the old one i'll do a lot of education in the rural areas so that you can also uh, you can also explain to them the importance of this uh, technology that is changing mm -hmm. because if they are, they are lag behind, their young ones are moving fast and they need to come to a place there where they can also understand uh, even, let, let's say an example, let's take an example like nowadays, uh, during our, uh, when you're growing up, maybe you couldn't be able to do even uh, entertainment and sell and earn a living from that. But nowadays through the use of technology, young ones are earning from the tech, uh, this uh, entertainment through the use of technology. But now when you talk, if the old one doesn't understand that the young one can also use that and earn a living, they'll either deem you like you're not doing the right thing, uh, but through education, you are able to advise them uh, that this is the right content, this is the right thing that I'm doing, and it can enable, uh, enable me to make a living or earn a living. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, since you deal with, uh, you know, installing the fiber optic cables and stuff like is there a criteria you use to assess that this area I will do this, or this area we will need to do this, or it's just you can generally uh, put them anywhere? 
basically we, uh, it's like a business mm -hmm. you want to start your kiosk right uh, there are things that you check uh, uh, when you want to start uh, that uh, kiosk uh, uh, there are people that you can sell uh, maybe whatever you want to start as a kiosk so yes uh, when you start uh, when you want to develop a market in terms of uh, uh, internet solution mm -hmm. yes there are things that you check like in terms of are there people who can use internet to uh, in terms of cost for you to be able to provide the service and be able to uh, reliably support the service uh, you check the costs how much will you spend to roll out and make sure that people are getting connected and using the service uh, another one is uh, the availability of the market are uh, people are interested on on what you're providing do you need to educate them before bringing that service so you have to uh, look in terms of the market, uh, check on those aspects before actually providing also the service. Okay. Yeah. You spoke about the educating the older generation in terms of the internet and uh, its advancement. Okay. How would they benefit seeing that they're still in the same position? It's not like they will move to the urban areas. How will they benefit in the long run with such uh, op technological opportunities? They will benefit uh, in quite uh, several areas one is uh they can market the product if you let's say for example uh you're in a rural area and you one of maybe uh, the service provider you can provide platforms for them where they can advertise their products uh, you can provide platform for where their kids can go and uh, study where they can get uh, good content in terms of studying and also entertainment entertainment is big also they can also use uh, the platform to mm -hmm. entertain. Okay. So yes, like now, for example, uh, in the rural areas, like now, something like a, a Bible. Nowadays, you can read a Bible, even on your phone, your device. Uh, and maybe the old doesn't know that not necessarily have to carry a, a Bible to, uh, to church. Mm -hmm. As long as I have this uh, device here, phone here, I can actually go into it whenever I'm seated. Mm -hmm. and read something yeah mm -hmm. okay and uh, i would love to ask now that you're on the field how has how have they adapted this you know they, they have really adapted adapted it uh, quite well uh, one is uh, through the sales teams that we have they are able to now educate them explain to them the importance so the areas that they can engage uh also secure also the uh, internet is also yeah. Okay. Are there any other things that maybe mentorship, uh, have you played roles such as those? Yes, yes. We do quite a lot, uh, mm -hmm. especially on the CSR activities, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of visiting children's homes, in terms of uh, visiting uh, the ones who are sick in the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, uh, we, we have a forum. Like now, I'm, a, I'm the chairman for the group that I'm currently leading uh, for investment and uh, projects yes mm -hmm. so it involves the youths and you guide them in terms of what are the current opportunities that you can actually access in term, like now the youths mm -hmm. what can we do now that can actually secure our future and other uh, f uh, other people's future mm -hmm. maybe while growing up yeah uh, would you mention the different opportunities you're talking about there, there, are, there are many uh, maybe I'll mention a few. Mm -hmm. uh, one, the one that I've been actually mentioning, entertainment. Mm -hmm. Entertainment, you can start it from any point and start earning a living. Mm -hmm. Two is farming, which I'm uh, passionate about. Uh, it also can help you in terms of marketing your product, in terms of even how you are doing the, the farming uh, one. Mm -hmm. And we'll be able to help you uh, actually improve even the production through the use of technology, you can be able to even monitor your your farming or your cows at home. You can use technology to also monitor that. Uh, another one, uh, even on healthy, health is also another important aspect. Yes, it mm -hmm. can help you also. Okay. One may uh, decide to ask, uh, okay, if I introduce this internet solutions where I'm working. What about the digital security? Am I safe? There are malpractices, uh, you know, malwares and hackers. Yeah. How do we handle that? 
technology as it grows, everyone grows. Uh, the malpractices uh, also, th those people who are involved on that, they're also in, uh, growing. Whenever you develop something that is pre preventing that, they also always come up with something. But yes, there are, there are, there are things that uh, we are currently doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we currently have an Execure. So this will guide you to block maybe sites that you want uh, you don't want to access this will uh, help you to prevent even your kid at home uh, in terms of what time do you want them to access internet what time do you want them to read maybe mm -hmm. uh, it will also help you uh, for your kids to for, for, for you to be able to secure the platform that you don't want even your kids to visit or any other person to to visit mm -hmm. yes so there, there, there are there are so several ways uh, which uh, every day technology is evolving and as it evolves we also come up with also come up with a means of making sure that we the security or privacy of data mm -hmm. is also uh, protected in terms of uh, understanding that the security and privacy of data is catered for this information is not everywhere uh, where can we find such information to make sure that we are protected uh, information is, is, is it's everywhere actually. Mm -hmm. uh, go to YouTube. You can learn a lot of it. Go to, nowadays you can access and go to different platform uh, on even your Google. Google. Just Google, you'll find uh, ways how you can actually prevent and even learn on the simple, simple things that uh, you can avoid doing. Like now sharing information or over the internet, you are able to know which which type of information I can share, which one is quite sensitive that I cannot share, mm -hmm. and who are the people that I can share this information with. Yeah. Okay. I I understand your department or your IT is is normally do, male dominated. Mm -hmm. How can women embrace you know technology and actually be you know the big dogs in the IT department. I, I actually, as we speak currently, uh, where I work um, or the, the, the people that I'm working with, actually 60% are women. Mm. Yes, mm -hmm. I have a team that is actually uh, around 60%. Yes, uh, are women. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's good to encourage, especially the women, uh, to major into IT. Mm -hmm. uh, previously, uh, some time back, we used to feel that IT is for uh, the male, but no, it's for everyone. And it's upon us to now encourage also the, uh, the women also mm -hmm. to actually join and, uh, and be part of also the, the rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, where do you see a future in terms of the internet space and uh, IT? I think we are moving away from mechanical works to artificial intelligence. That is where the future is heading, actually. And you know, artificial intelligence will be doing a lot. The marketing that we are doing, the simple, simple things that we are doing, you are able even to automate the demand, uh, be done by uh, robots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where, do, where do, does that leave our jobs? No, it means that we have to change our perception. Mm -hmm. The jobs that we are currently not doing, something like farming, why don't we go back there? Because uh, people will still eat, whether there is internet or there is no internet. Mm -hmm. You go back and need food, right? So the young one, we need to change our perception. This internet that is developing, this technology that is changing, how can we use it and go take it back today? Uh, to farming. Let's farm and produce more mm -hmm. so that people continue eating as they continue developing more technology. Okay. Yeah. You've spoken a lot about farming. Being a young person in the farming industry, yeah. how can you also bring in other young people to join the industry while remembering this technology that can help make work easier? Um, farming is a process and it needs a lot of patience. Sometimes you you can do something and it doesn't come the way you want. So you have to believe 
you have to have passion and you have to have that patience of waiting. Uh, so yes, I encourage the young people, let's go back to farming. Let's go back and do uh, good farming. Farming, it's a profession. You can earn a living from it. You can make, uh, you can make even, a, you can even break through in your life through the use of farming. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I encourage them to come, uh, learn. If you don't have someone to learn to, uh, or to learn from, uh, use tech, use internet. Go to YouTube. Go to Google. Uh, look for mentorship. People are doing farming. Just you can learn a lot from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And are there any challenges you've encountered through this uh, process that you you have maneuvered and uh, how you did that? Quite a lot. Uh, uh, mine is funny. Mm -hmm. So I do farming. At the same time, I'm working. At the same time, I'm studying. Uh, working sometimes, I use technology to deliver. Uh, education, I'm using full time technology to deliver. And farming now. So you have to, you see how it has, you don't need to really move. Like now, if I need to go to school, I don't need to travel all the way to schools to go there and run, mm -hmm. just to access my machine and read whatever I want. Uh, work, some simple stuff you can do, like now in terms of maybe engaging and doing, uh, maybe even a, doing a team uh, meeting, you can actually do it online nowadays, right? Mm -hmm. um, in terms of, uh, now the last one on farming, uh, which now I'm going, actually I'm doing farming also on online. Because if, 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 if you have to engage your staff who are working at the Shamba, you need to call them, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you even tell them, just take a picture. You want what? Okay, take a picture, send me. Then you are able even to understand what exactly uh, these people want maybe for, for you to, for them to deliver maybe whatever you wanted at the Shamba. Okay. Yes. What about the challenges? I've not heard you speaking of them. The challenges, I think, uh, in terms of farming, is the cost. Cost is really uh, a big one. Uh, second one is in terms of uh, even the climate nowadays, something that you don't have control over. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you might plant in your maize, then no rain. What happens? Mm -hmm. All of them dries up. You have to go back, do it again, because you have to do it for, for you too, to get this uh, uh, of these crops at the end. Uh, another challenge is in terms of uh, marketing. Mm. Uh, when you get this, let's say for example, our seasons in terms of farming, they are, they are the same. So whenever you harvest, everyone has harvested. So the cost that you used, and when you want to sell the, the produce, is not even meeting the cost that you used. So you, sometimes you have to wait until maybe uh, the prices goes up so that you can actually sell and get your returns. But in the process, sometimes they spoil. What do you do? That's a, a loss that you've made. Mm -hmm. But it, it will need you to have that passion and uh, that patience every time to keep doing until you get it right. Wow. Yeah. And so what is your advice to the community and the youth as an expert in IT and also as a youth farmer, what can you tell other youths out there? I'll tell the youths that uh, believe first in what you do. If you're good in farming, do farming and do it with a passion. If you're good in uh, entertainment, do it like there's no other day that you love. So yes, so believe in what you do. Uh, also have patience with yourself. Believe in the process. Nothing comes immediately. You have to believe in the process and uh, also trust trust in the living. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, yeah. awesome, yeah. awesome. Thank you so much, Dalvin. I have appreciated the time you've taken to come here. And uh, thank you for the nice insights of believing in ourselves. Right. As you have heard it, believe in yourself, believe in what you do, believe in the process, and also believe in the living God. This has been Youth in Action. I am Nyangwesa Grenis. See you next time. This is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. This is the way.